Hey, this is Todd Walker again for another online video drum lesson. We're going to take a look at today is a fill with some phrasing and then we're going to also put it into some odd time on the end. Now basically what this means is we're going to be in 4-4 four, four time and we're going to be using 16th notes and again at the end all this will be on the board. Phrasing basically means the way that you break up the notes to create your pattern. So for using 16th notes you're going to see some bass drum put in here and I'm going to start with the hands and end with the bass drum. When the hands restart that's when we count the next group of notes as our phrase. So if we have 16 notes, 1 e and a 2 e and a 3 e and a 4 e and a, we can break that up into many combinations. The variation that we're going to use here for the fill is going to be 4, 2, 3, 3, 4. The first four are right, left, right, foot. The two is left, foot. The three is right, left, foot. The other three, right, left, foot. And the final four, one, two, three, four, for four e enda on the hands. So here's what this sounds like on the snare and bass drum, and it's phrased four, two, three, three, four. Now if I count that in not the sixteenth way, just counting one, two, three, four, one, two. I'm going to count it with the phrase, and then I'll count it with sixteenths. Here it's counted with the phrasing. One, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Now I'll count it the musical way with sixteenth notes. One, e, n, a, two. So we've got 4-4 four, four time, we've got our drum fill phrased, and we know where we're going to put some bass drum to create that cool phrasing. I get asked a lot about drum fills by my students and when I'm out performing, and this is a really cool way to create an interesting fill. Then at the end we'll try to turn the fill into a 7-8 by dropping a couple notes on the end. But let's check it out in 4-4. Four, four. Basic groove, here's the fill. Okay, let's take that with that groove, kind of just a basic rock groove. Take it up a little bit. Now let's try to bounce it a little bit, kind of funk it up. We can take it in a more fusion setting. All right, now, if we drop the last two notes of that fill, we can turn this into a 7-8 drum fill and we'll put a 7-8 groove to it. So basically now we're going 1 e and a 2 e and a 3 e and a 4 e and cutting it there. Technically this would be considered 14-16 time but really musically we'd be teaching it as 7-8. So now the pattern becomes this.
So let's put some simple 7-8 time, and we've just converted our phrased fill to 7-8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let's take that up a little bit in a 7-8, again, kind of a fusion-y type of feel. And now the fill's in 7 as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there you have it. A drum fill phrased, little odd time at the end of the lesson and have fun working with it, here it comes up on the board. My name is Todd Walker. Thanks everybody out there for watching. See ya.